So, uh, first of all, welcome to Chalk Up. Uh, Thank you. In the, in the sort of wilds of Somerset. Mm. Who are you? Uh, my name's Joe Wormsley. I'm a competition climber from the southwest of England. Uh, I've lived in the local area all my life. Uh, nice. So yeah. you've, you've done a fair bit of competing then on the on the sort of national and international scene. Or? Yeah, yeah. So all through my uh, junior comp career as such, I uh, competed on the GB Junior team for a couple of years, um, and now I'm a senior. I've been a senior for a couple of years now, and I'm looking to continue compete in and reach that as far as I can. Brilliant, fantastic. So um, obviously brand new centre, we're not even sort of fully open here. Yeah. It's um, you know, a preview gaze where you've brought sort of a few of your mates along, having a bit of a feel for the, yeah. for the centre. What's your, what's your initial opinion? Uh, I've, I've had an amazing session. It's gonna, it'll be a really good addition to local area. Nice. Um, the wall as a build, there's so much variation in angle and what's possible. Um, and even things like, like the, the holds that are here are really current, up to date with what, we, what we're getting in the comps. Uh, the movement is current up to date with what we're getting in the comps. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. There's so much to go at. So when you were, we were chatting previously before we started speaking, you were saying it's quite difficult for centres to set, sort of to, to it's like, you know, hire competing yeah. climbers because obviously they've got to cater for everyone. Yeah. So first and foremost, um, do you think it's a good centre that is going to cater for everyone and let everyone find climbing if they've never done it before? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's definitely a centre where there's the potential for, you know, like uh, people aspiring to be high level competition climbers coming and being able to train and, um, get on actual hard boulders rather than just be limited to boards. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, there's so much here for people who want to get into climbing and you know get to know the sport as it's growing. Yeah, no, fantastic. So obviously, so the boulder in the middle of the wall is quite a unique feature that yeah. most walls don't have. What do, yeah. you, what, do you, what do you think of it? It's brilliant. It's um, yeah, most walls tend to just sort of have like token top up boulders where they put their, their, their kids' boulders or their easier boulders and you have a little scramble, get to the top. Down you go. Whereas here we've got a, a full height top up boulder. Um, starts high, gets a bit lower as you come down, so it's still not too intimidating. Um, yeah, it's, it's really comprehensive to the rest of the wall, which is like 4.5 at full height. Yeah, nice. I think it's quite a good transition, isn't it, as well? Because I think what um, you would hope as, uh, as a professional climate is actually people don't necessarily just stay in a gym, they potentially yeah, go out and touch absolutely. at some point. Yeah. And I think the top up boulders are really important to that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like these, 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 uh, the more indoor gyms that are opening, the more we hope there's going to be a transfer to getting outdoors. And having something like a top-up boulder, it's just another exciting feature that might tempt someone to go outdoors. It's almost a bit more realistic what you're going to find yeah. and maybe what they need to make that transfer. Fantastic. So obviously we've got some quite gnarly looking features like the, the big sort of uh, prow with the yeah. and all that sort of stuff behind us. Mm. Um, What's, what's your opinion as a, as, as like a, a, a sort of a, a professional climber and someone that probably operates on the harder things inside the centre? Yeah. What, you know, I mean, this, 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 yeah, this is my, my personal favourite, I think. It's like really steep in this bottom bit and then uh, a subtle angle change into a bit of a, a steadier top. But uh, yeah, the top definitely really complements the steep. Like this, this black, for example, you get a really good period of like powerful climbing through the steep. Yeah. And some really tenuous, delicate stuff on top. It's brilliant. Definitely my favourite bit of wall, I think. Excellent. So I suppose there's a few little things. Is one, will you be coming back? Oh, yeah, 100%. I'd like, this place for me, for my personal training, will be, will be so good. That's it. So I also understand you potentially might be coming back and setting some of the routes yourself as well. Yeah, I'm going to come down and do a bit of setting. we got uh, Mikey Cleverdon's going to be head setter. And nice. yeah. Is Can't that wait. You've done a little bit of before. Is it something that's new to yeah, you? Yeah, so past few years. So as I said, the beginning of my um, climbing career, so I actually was very focused on like the junior comps and stuff. And then as I become senior, and you know, you want to try and still climb as much as you can, make a bit of money as well. Um, I got really into setting, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a headsetter down at the Key in Exeter, and then it just grew. I do a bit of freelance work for um, local walls around the south as well. Um, and I cannot wait to get here and get my hands on some of these holds and these volumes and just play on these angles. That'd be good. Um, I know you've got um, some sponsors you work with. It'd be great to give you a chance to shout. Yeah, uh, we've, got, we've got Psyche who have been looking after me for the past couple of years there. Yeah, great guys, great company, UK based. Yeah. Fantastic. Look, Joe, lovely to meet you. Thank you very Brilliant. much for your time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Cheers, brilliant. Cheers. Bye -bye.